Hi, I'm Diane. This is my vlog, my first vlog entry. I have been writing a blog, but now I'm going to create a vlog, a video log. And I'm starting with Kubacaf, the explanation of it, and you need to see my garage to understand it. Yes, this was my project. For the last two weekends of my life, I devoted to clearing out enough space in the garage so we can actually park both cars in here, okay? And I don't think we've done that since we've lived here. We moved here two years ago to try to have a bigger place with less clutter. So the, this remaining stuff is going to go in the basement. My husband needs to put it there. It's his stuff. This remaining stuff I've boxed up. It's going to go in the attic right there. My husband's going to come back shortly and put it up there. And everything else is nicely organized. Yes, there's our... Uh, sign business that we do for extra money. Yeah, that's a separate Cuba calf you'll hear in another time. Look how I put everything in its place. And it's almost the kind of thing that's so nice you might see it on Facebook, right? Somebody saying, yay, finally cleaned out the garage. What they don't tell you on Facebook is, um, yeah, that door that always sticks. Oh, that's such a pain. Okay, and they also don't tell you, oh, whoops, um, a bunch of stuff that I brought in the house that needs to be put away yeah, it's still sitting here in the entryway and has been for the last two weeks because Kuba Calf is a revolt against Facebook. You know, I realized in the last couple weeks, no, in the last couple years, but I've been thinking about it more in the last couple weeks, that Facebook is this highlight reel of all the wonderful things in people's lives, like a clean garage, but they never show you the dark side. Yeah, the messy desk that's looked this way for months. Um, uh, yeah, that hanger's been there <laughs> since uh, graduation. And, you know, you could see lots of books on my shelf about, um, Clutter control. Yes, I read a dozen or more of them before we moved to this house to get control of the clutter. And it's much better than it was, but it's still not perfect, not by any means. And I write a blog called Overachiever Mom that people don't get because they think somehow this blog must be focused on the moms that are so successful and doing everything perfectly, but it's the ones that on the outside, it seems like they're doing everything perfectly, but really, they have it together in some areas, but not in all areas. As a matter of fact, they don't feel like they have it together at all. That's how a lot of us feel. But we don't want to admit that, especially on our social media. So Kuba Calf, oh yeah, I haven't put my Cubs shirts away, but how can I? They're doing so well. Um, or these shoes. Oh, or this messy bathroom. It was so clean a couple weeks ago. Why can't I get it back to where it was? But that's Kuba Calf, okay? You don't just tell everybody the good things that are going on. You tell them the lowlights, not just the highlights. Look, the cat never has to think about this. But we do, okay? Especially moms, especially working moms that are just trying to keep up with too much. And yes, we're proud of our kids and all those awards that they get. But we still have conflicts with them every day. And if we just share a little of the lowlights along with the highlights, we can help each other and not feel so guilty and recognize that the, the highlight reel that you see on Facebook, this life that everyone else seems to be living full of fun times and vacations, that's just a smattering of their life. And all the other stuff they're not showing you, they're going through it too, just the same as you are. And I'm gonna share it with you, and hopefully more of you will share it with me and everyone else, and we'll start the Kuba Calf Revolution because we need to be raw, real, and uncomfortable to really make each other feel okay.